if you're Sagittarius ascending sign. So both of you can benefit from this forecast. Okay, well, first of all, I'm going to make a wild statement here and say October 2015 is possibly the best month of the entire year. I'm starting that good month vibe around the new moon, which is October 12th. So everyone can maximize their luck and continue with compulsory upgrades, which are part of the digital age. Now, um, here's the full schedule, and I'm not going to go through these here. I'm going to talk about these separately, but this is just to show you that the first half of the month in red is challenging. The second half in green is really so good. It's just so breaking down. Even It's just amazing. One of the reasons the beginning of the month, we have this uh, carryover Mercury retrograde that started in September 17th. And in this case, there may have been misunderstanding with friends, patrons, benefactors, clubs and groups, you know, infighting, whatever. And you might be the best person to straighten it out, but it's not easy because you got to go back and forth and it's really takes a lot of energy. There are revisions and remedies possible, but it just takes a lot of effort. So that's going on. And then October 3rd through 9th, Mars is opposite Neptune. And in this case, Mars and a whole bunch of other planets are up there in your 10th house that are really invigorating your life's purpose, ambitions, and goals, and enhancing your reputation. But you have a very complicated situation that exists with your family or maybe your property. Um, Neptune is the planet of glamour, sensitivity, spirituality, and mysticism, but also illusions, trickery, toxins, and chaos. So you are in an ongoing situation to, to you know, play up the glamour and, and maybe the mysticism of your home, but also to watch out for the toxins and chaos. So this is going to be a big project, but a really worthwhile one, because as you elevate to more potential in your life's purpose, you have to make sure you have a good foundation. October 4th through 9th, the sun is square Pluto. Squares are a little more challenging than opposition, but this is, you know, moved through fairly quickly. In this case, the, um, the sun is in your 11th house of benefactors, patrons, and friends, and Pluto in your second house is you really want to control your materials, tools, resources, and your instincts. And maybe you even have trade secrets. You may have amassed a qu quite a lot of wealth or power that you don't necessarily want people to know about. Or maybe you have a lot of energy just transforming what you already have. Well, but see, mixing friends and money is always tricky, maybe just even time-wise. Maybe you want to be real involved with your friends, but you don't want them to know what you're doing, and that's your prerogative. But, you know, they're going to want to know, so you have to politely say, well, or maybe even the best-kept secret is don't make it look like you have any secrets, right? Um, October 6th through 16th, Jupiter is trying Pluto. So here again, Jupiter in your house of um, ambitions and um, high aspirations in elevating your career, your goals, your reputation. Now this is going to work really nicely with whatever kinds of materials or tools you've amassed and whatever your instincts and your trade secrets. This will work really well together. That is, you could elevate your reputation based on what you have or what you know. October 9th, Mercury goes back to prograde, so that's a sign of relief. Um, whatever <clears throat> efforts you've made to patch things together with your benefactors, patrons, and friends is probably working, or you have less responsibility in that regard. And then October 12th, we have a new moon near the star Spica, and um, the full-time window is the 10th through the 14th. So here again, emphasizing benefactors, patrons, and friends. And here's a whole now, a whole new phase where either you're seeing people you haven't seen for a while, you're starting up with new groups that you have um, just hopeful and wishful things. Now, new moons are a little introverted, but you do want to get out there and either introduce yourself and meet people or, you know, just um, get yourself out there even if you don't really feel like it. I mean, once you get in the swing of it, it's, um, it'll be fun. Um, and especially since, uh, near, since this new moon is near the star Spica, it's going to emphasize really um, you know, potent topics of science, um, agriculture, philosophy, and that you can be on the scene with music and art and just culture that, that um, revolves around science, agriculture, and philosophy. And um, the issues are hope versus cynicism, so you really need your good judgment in there and of like what things are really truly hopeful and what things maybe you want to be a little more skeptical regarding. But um, overall, you know, this new moon being the launch point 
of, of the really great part of October is that the experience residue from the first part of the month, which may have been minor scandals, betrayal, or just infinite distractions in the first part of October, built, hopefully built a stronger character, more emotional discipline, so now you can be better attuned to culture, science, and justice. You know, these really uh, arenas provide an interesting good life, especially regarding benefactors, friends, and groups. Now, this new moon is also opposed to the planet Uranus, so there are many surprises ushering in new teams and projects, but could be a little manic, especially since you have a strong feeling about your own talents and, uh, and your own future, and that you're reinventing things, and that your children might be, you know, little child prodigy genius types. And so, that, you know, you have to spend time with them in addition to spending time with groups and friends. October 14th through 20th, Mars conjuncts Jupiter, so even more of a sense of enterprise and great progression in terms of your career. If you take advantage of it, your engineering skills, design talent, produce remedies, and can enhance your life's purpose, ambitions and goals, and your reputation. So it's kind of like the beginning of a bull market in a manner of speaking. And it's just moving and trying with Pluto. So all of that foundation that you have, those materials, tools, resources are really beneficial. October 24th through 26th, Venus is conjunct Jupiter. So here again, now not only are you enterprising and profitable and progressive, but you get popular in terms of what you're doing in your career. And so that's really exciting. The full moon is going to be the last thing we look at. The full moon in your sixth house is all this glory and all this fame. Now you have a lot of work to do, a lot of grunt work. So the duties and job becomes a top priority. Health and healing because you may have been really just going for it. I mean, success is stressful. You know, so you have to regroup. It's really kind of ironic. But, um, and also accounting and things and also just kind of thinking about the morality. Is everything fitting your vision of what you think is right or what should be done? Now, more interesting things about this full moon is that it's located towards uh, the Andromeda galaxy, which has to do with expanding community views and ideas in terms of maybe a new way to fulfill your duties and health. And also near the triangle, which is justice-oriented, truthful, and righteous, so that you can go about your job in a very you know, benevolent manner and that you can learn more about the force behind organisms, biological. This is very important for health because then you can be more in tune with your own health and your own physical body. And also, with uh, it's near the horns of the ram so that you can, uh, regarding, you know, a little bit inch by inch, life's a cinch, right? That's sort of a of a stupid uh, cliche, but in this case, there's so much to do, but in slow but sure, you can see the progress in terms of duties, and just a really great time of the month. October is outstanding. I hope you can take advantage of it, because November is going to be a very, very different situation. It's going to be a little more stoic and sacrifice. We all have to toughen up, so go for your maximum benefits in October, because in November, it's a whole different thing, because we have to be more on guard and stay cool, but in October is a really all, you know, the second half of October, all systems go. So I hope it works out well for you. Thank you for watching. My name's Victoria Martin.